Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'll be your host, Joey Moss. All right, so we got some standard showdown packs from all over the place. We got Ixalan. Not even sure what this is. Help me out. I know they are going for like 15 to 20 bucks a pop just because they're very limited. And then we have Dominaria and Guilds of Ravnica, the newer stuff. Make sure you guys are hitting that bell button so you get the latest and greatest notifications for the channel. It does mean a lot. Believe it or not, uh, it really means a lot to me that you guys even watch this channel. So thank you very much. We're just going to go out of any order. Let's just mix them all up. We're going to start with Guilds of Ravnica this time. Doing things a little different. Doing things a little different. Already starting off with a nasty clifftop retreat. That's what I'm talking about. Followed by... Zetalpa, Primal Dawn, Flying, Double Strike, Vigilance, Trample, Indestructible. That's a powerhouse right there. With an island out the back door. And a Gisoth's Sun's Avatar. I think we pulled this before. I don't think it was the foil version, but this is a foil mythic right here. Trample, Vigilance, and Haste. Whenever Gisath Sun's Avatar deals combat damage to a player, reveal that many cards from the top of your library. Put any number of dinosaur creature cards from among them under the battlefield and the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. I would love to try to make that work in an actual standard deck. If you guys have any faith in me and would like to see that, make sure you let me know in the comments below. Uh, that would be phenomenal if I could actually pull that off. I just don't know that it's possible. Uh, Dominaria, all up in it. But then again, there is a lot more ramp now in this standard, uh, opposed to past standards. Already off to a good start, are you kidding me? Twilight Prophet to get things going. <laughs> Nasty card. Flying and Ascend. At the beginning of your upkeep, if you have the city's blessing, reveal the top card of your library and put it into your hand. Each opponent loses X life and you gain X life, where X is that card's converted mana cost. What Ascend is, if you control 10 or more permanents, uh, you get the city's blessing for the rest of the game. So once you have it, you can't lose it. You just gotta get 10 permanents out. It could be lands, tokens, I mean, whatever the case may be. Sweet little card there. With a Mirage Mirror, another nasty little card there. We are actually off to the races right now. We are doing really good. Mirage Mirror is solid as heck. With a Mountain out the back, Mirage Mirror becomes a copy of targeting uh, artifact, creature, enchantment, or land until end of turn. You can really abuse that. In the back, Vizier of Remedies is our foil uncommon card. Phenomenal. I don't, I don't even... We're just going to make one whole pile. We're just going to do one pile today. We're going to mix things up a little bit there. What is this? I don't even know, guys. I, I honestly don't know. I honestly don't know. But right now, I'm going to tell you, honest to God's truth, I am sweating ridiculously right now. Uh, yeah. I don't know why, but I am. Maybe I'm sick. Mm. Scrap Heap Scrounger. Scrap Heap Scrounger can't block for deuce. I'm so glad this got out of standard. Exile another creature card from your graveyard. Return Scrap Heap Scrounger from your graveyard to the battlefield. That is cool. That is some stuff. Canopy Gorger. That's weird. Um, okay, so that's... Okay, let's actually make piles here. This is going to be our foil pile. This is going to be our non-foil pile. You see how quick we learn together? And uh, from under the floorboards. I think this is... Shadows over Innistrad, perhaps? Standard showdown prize packs? Maybe. I could be wrong. Highly, highly possible I'm wrong. From under the floorboards, it's got Madness. Which means if you discard this card, discard it into exile. When you do, cast it for its madness cost. Or put it into your graveyard. Put three 2-2 two, two black zombie creature tokens onto the battlefield. Tapped and you gain three life. If from under the floorboards, madness cost was paid. Instead, put X of those tokens onto the battlefield. Tapped and you gain X life. This card really never saw a lot of play. Uh, because it's just not that simple to uh, make happen. But the artwork on that card is something phenomenal. Standard showdown, Ixalan. What lies inside? What lies inside? Well, that looks weird. I wonder what happened there. That is weird. It's not It's not cracked, though. That's weird. I don't know what to make of that. King Jolly's Sunwing. Some junk. Flying creatures your opponent's control into the battlefield tap. Not bad if you're going to run, uh, was it Naya? If you're running uh, white and, uh, was it red? White, red? No, that's Boros. White, green, red? I'm not sure. Kinjali's Sunwing. Creature your opponent's control into the battlefield tapped. With a Regal Caracal. That's legit right there. We'll take that all day. Other cats you control get plus one, plus one, and have lifelink when Regal Caracal enters the battlefield. Create two 1-1 one, one white cat creature tokens with lifelink. It's a 3-3. Kind of sad to see that card go out of standard, honestly. 
Wisp Weaver Angel is our uncommon foil with a swamp in the back. And we just messed up these piles again. I'm sorry, guys. We're not really this good at this. Like, this is something I'm not that great at. I do apologize. Oh, we actually did it backwards for once. We can't see the spoiled card. The spoiled card cannot be revealed. Bam! Isolate. All right. I was really excited for a split second there, and it just all went down the drain. Uh, exile target permanent with converted mana cost one. Bam! Give me that nut! Woo! All over that face. Assassin's Trophy. Hooray, hooray, hooray. We got a nasty little pool there. Had the whole, we just had an earthquake. Did anyone else Did anyone else feel that? Oh my God. Did, 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 are you guys, are you guys, wow, we are unstable right now. Where's a pack of that to crack? Assassin's Trophy. That, uh, that's what dreams are made of right there. Solid little pool. Not even, that's bigger. That's bigger than life. Destroy target permanent and opponent controls. This controller may search their library for a basic land card. Put it onto the battlefield, then shuffle your library their library nasty and we got uh, uh why do i keep messing my piles up this is cringeworthy I'm, i apologize if you're still watching punch the like button and thank you for watching forest all up in it and a ripjaw raptor foil at the end of that one that's just a solid pack right there that, that's better than a solid pack that's the kind of pack you really want to get that oh i did it again that is a sick sick pack right there oh my gosh i am sweating What's going on? Dominaria, standard showdown. This is too much excitement. Can we crack that pack again like that? What do we do, it like this? Do we crack from the top? They just make it so it's not easy to crack that way. It's kind of like a spoiler when you can see it. So we're gonna just snip that right there. The old snippy doodah. Ooh. Slide this Dominaria, standard showdown pack open. Right out the back. There we go. And boosh! Warkite Marauder is our first one. Marwin the Nurturer. Uh, what Warkite does, whenever Warkite Marauder attacks, target creature defending player controls, loses all abilities, and has base power and toughness. Zero one until end of turn. Marwin the Nurturer. Whenever another elf enters the battlefield under your control, put a plus one plus one counter on Marwin the Nurturer. Tap it at an amount of green mana equal to Marwin's power. Swamp and a Lick's Mastery. Lick, like, likers, lichers. Someone tell me how to say that. I don't, I don't want to know, honestly. Um, but it's a really cool card. It's got Hexproof. You can't lose the game. Whenever you gain life, draw that many cards. Whenever you lose life, for each one life you lost, exile a permanent you control or a card from your hand or graveyard. When Mastery leaves the battlefield, you lose the game. You don't want to lose the game, do you? I don't want to lose the game. Standard Showdown uh, Mystery Prize Pack. We have no idea what's in here. <laughs> it's always one of these weird ones. They didn't label it. Why would they not label it? Like, what's inside? That's just mind-blowing. Did anyone else get nervous there thinking I was going to snip the card? Because that would be, like, a really, really big crime right there. Boosh! We're starting off with... Why is there only three cards on this? That's it? There's only three cards on this? Authority of the Councils. Is a rare enchantment. Creatures your opponent's control enter the battlefield tapped. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield and opponent's control, you gain one life. Well, yeah, whatever. Akum, Flame Seeker. Common. I'm glad they got rid of that. I hope Wizards never brings back commons in standard showdown prize packs. When you win a prize pack, you want something loaded. You want something juicy. You want something moist. You want something with flavor. You don't want to get a common foil. It's just no thanks. And a Felidar Sovereign. Ooh, that was ugly. Ugh, that was, ugh. Uh, Vigilance, lifelink at the beginning of your upkeep. If you have 40 or more life, you win the game. That really just kind of made me nauseous. Ixalan, we are down to the last one. Not bad. This has been a pretty solid opening. Let's see if we can open it without, uh, without ruining the cards. There we go. We certainly did right there. All right, let's go ahead. Pull this sleeve right over. Flip it on its back. Earthshaker Kenra, not too bad. Uh, it's got haste when Earthshaker Kenra enters the battlefield. Target creature with power less than or equal to Earthshaker Kenra's power can't block this turn. Would eternalize for six. And what that means, exile this card from your graveyard, create a token that's a copy of it. Except it's a 4-4 black zombie jackal warrior with no mana cost. Eternalize only as a sorcery to 2-1. All right, all right. Glorybringer. Gotta love my dragons. Flying in haste, you may exert Glorybringer as it attacks. When you do, it deals four damage to target non-dragon creature and opponent controls. Awesome, awesome card. 
Ashes of Abhorrent Foil. I'll take that. Players can't cast spells from graveyards or activate abilities of cards in graveyards. Whenever a creature dies, you gain one life. Nice foil there. Followed by a forest foil in the back. That's all she wrote. I'm really, I'm really happy you guys all tuned in. I do appreciate it. Thank you very much. Uh, anything you'd like to see me open on this channel? Something different, something unique. Let me know in the comments below. As always, PLA. Yo.